So, we're live. What's going on, everyone? Active Sin here, and we're back for another week of Team Red Talks Nintendo. We got a lot of cool stuff to talk about today. And of course, I got the other co hosts here as well with uh, Neon Coupon. Why don't you guys say hello? Are we doing it like in order and then we're doing our intros? How are we going to do this? Uh, yeah, Neon, you can go first. How about that? All right, what's good, everybody? It's your girl, Nia, the video game her, and talk about what I've been gaming on, or are we going to save that? I'll do that after intros. All right, cool. All right. Yeah, it's me, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was cheesy. I didn't That's know what better. else to say. It was like, yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, and uh, Nia? Oh, no, coupon. Uh, yeah, okay. Nia number two. <laughs> it's your girl. Struggle Nia game her. Two. <laughs> the struggle gamer. Come on, guys, here. Uh, yeah, what up? It's coupon. It's str- we struggling out here, but we doing it in style. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I love that. We're doing it in style. Struggling in struggle, style. We struggle in style. <laughs> love that. All right. And uh, yeah, I'm Active Sin, of course. And uh, that's about it, I guess. I've just been. I'm so out of the loop, guys. I'm just fuck. I'm just addicted to Persona. That's all I do. It took so, me uh, forever. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. finally, I'm finally playing that, so I'm very happy with it. Uh, but let's uh, let's start with what you guys have been playing. Uh, I'm gonna go with your coupon first. What have you been playing this week? Well, as you know, I returned to the Persona because Alex, you know, started picking it up. So I was like, well, you know, I'm not feeling feeling Overwatch right now. The community's pissing me off. The game is lackluster right now. It's a lot of bullshit yeah. going on. So I decided to move on over to some other games, and I totally forgot about Persona. And since Alex was playing, I decided to check it out. And I forgot how addicting that game is. And I found out why I quit the game. At one time, because that fucking cat, Mona, fucking Morgana, <laughs> yeah. you gotta go to sleep. Yeah. You gotta go to sleep. You got that shit got on my nerves, so I had to put it down for a little while. I totally forgot, but it's okay. When you get past that third, that third palace, she she won't or he won't be putting you to sleep too often. But uh, yeah, so Persona, um, still been on that Stardew Valley, and I finally didn't restart one. I'm continuing oh, on to one finally. <laughs> So I haven't restarted. Um, like I said, not playing Overwatch right now. I'm a little pissed. But we got a new character coming for Paragon, so I'll probably be picking that back up. And uh, there's like all sorts of like um, freaking uh, rhythm games coming on the horizon. One of them being Taiko Drum, and I plan on picking that up as soon as we get some more in stock at Play Asia because they're all sold out. Fuck my life. <laughs> but uh, that uh, it's called Taiko Drum. It's oh, another that's, uh, one with of those the drums games. Right. Yeah, it's a, it's a drum game, one of the rhythm games with uh drums with you know Japanese whatever the frick taiko drums. But yeah, uh, I'll be picking that up eventually. So that's all. That's that's going on. You know, struggling in style as always. Okay. Um, I'll let Neil go last since she's gonna go into impressions about a specific some some little ass game that came out uh, a couple days ago. Some wow. some tiny ass game. Some tiny game. Some people have been waiting for. But, uh, <laughs> Uh, I've been uh, I've been playing Persona 5 for a few days now. Uh, th- this game is the truth. This game is amazing. I didn't believe people when they said how good this game was, uh, but it is incredible. Uh, I have not been able to put it down since I started, so that's all I've been doing. I'm I'm out of the loop when it comes to video game news. Um, but uh, yeah, now we're we're here and we're gonna try and give you as much Nintendo Nintendo content as we can. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I played that. I beat Battle Chef Brigade recently on the Switch. That was a really fun game. Oh yeah, I gotta uh, finish that. <laughs> you didn't finish that? Yeah, that, that, that is a really cool la- game. I'm on the last one. Oh, you're on the <laughs> last chapter? Alright. Yeah. If you got a Switch, uh, I suggest at least checking it out. I think it's like 20 bucks. I, I think it was completely worth it. That was a very fun game. Uh, but Nia, why don't you tell us about this tiny game? This very minuscule <laughs> game that just came out? <laughs> He's being such an ass. Well, it doesn't so, have I, so I picked up Xenoblade. And uh, let me see, how can I give some impressions without actually giving spoilers? Um, Okay, I'll put it this way. Um, This is my second Xenoblade. I did not play the very first Xenoblade. I started with X. And as you guys know, who have been following Team Red for some time now, like we went absolutely in on Xenoblade Chronicles X. Like that game had so many layers and so much depth. And that was pretty much our life for like two to three months. All right, so xenoblade 2 came out friday and i do like the game i do like the game i just finished chapter three today actually and um one thing that i can say about xenoblade 2 
is like if you like story like you know the typical stories and like japanese rpgs and stuff like that you're gonna like this game um mm. as far as i'm concerned like i like i like the game but there's a lot of elements about xenoblade chronicles x that i like better like for example like in xenoblade chronicles 2 um the focus is is like on the story which is not a problem that's not a problem um, but in Xenoblade Chronicles X, which is, I feel like it's more tailored to my play style. It's more focused on, um, world building and exploration, whereas this game is not. Um, like the way that Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is set up is that it, there's not just one big massive landmass. Like for example, like in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild or Xenoblade Chronicles X, the way that the world is made in Xenoblade is that there's this, these big, huge titans that everybody lives on. And they're pretty large, but you don't really get that sense of exploration because you're limited to exploring that one particular region. You know what I'm saying? So um, as far as like how I like the game, like I said, I, I like the game. Um, I just I just finished Chapter 3, and it does turn up after Chapter 3 because at first I was kind of mad on it. Because I'm like, okay, well, when is this game finally going to reach the climax? And it finally did. So that's pretty good. Um, but I'm still, you know, traversing and just kind of getting the feel of it and stuff like that. But as of this point, I know it sounds like blasphemy. I like X still more. But then again, JRPGs are for the long haul. Your impressions after Chapter 3 can change by the time that you're in Chapter, like, 6 or 7. So, yeah, man. But so far, yeah, I like it, man. I like it. Hmm. That's good. All right. Well, uh, that's good. Two huge JRPGs out in one year: Persona and Xenoblade, uh, like top tier JRPGs. It's good to see JRPGs coming out that are of yeah. high quality and not just point, waifu like, games. I'm sorry, not to cut you off, but remember at yeah. one point people thought like JRPGs were dying, dying. and then yeah. out of nowhere they just came like, <laughs> "Whoa, here we are." <laughs> but but isn't that we're just, we're isn't that just gaming in general? They always talk about something's dying. Like right now, supposedly single player games are dying yeah. and all that. But uh, as a caveat, just as a heads up, everybody, if you have questions, you can go to our Discord real quick and start putting those questions in. Oh yeah. So yeah. that way we can have them toward the end of this. So uh, our, uh, do you have the Discord uh, information in, I can put in the bottom? It in the chat. Uh, yeah, it's it's okay. in the. We'll put it in the chat. But this we'll is the Discord the room people here. So when you join, you'll be put in to this general chat area this is uh, you'll see gamer nick in here right now he's talking some mad shit uh but if you <laughs> want to put questions, questions put them in just go to this tab here it's open so anyone can type their questions in here uh this is where we will be reading the questions from today okay people from now so, on uh, so if you're yes, asking now questions on. in the chat we ain't reading them yeah we, so this is uh, it's just easier to filter it people uh that's that's yeah. the reasoning behind it so Neil will put the link in the in the in the chat there, the chat, so you can join from there. Okay, uh, right. so let's get going. And uh, Phantom, actually, I, I forgot to burn Xbox. Uh, so yeah, PlayStation and Nintendo, both with a top tier Japanese RPG game in one year. Uh, step your game up, Xbox. Let's move on. Phantom Breaker is coming <laughs> to the Nintendo Switch. I'll play the little video for you because uh, I don't care if we get striked in, or monetize or whatever anymore because we just get it anyways so <laughs> this, <laughs> this game i have it on too. i have this game on pc it, it's a small little uh chibi game it's pretty fun pretty basic just like an old school arcadey game uh but i had a good time with it. it it was like 10 bucks or something i don't know how much it's gonna cost on the switch but as you can see here simple little game but if you like little time wasting hack and slash game oh it looks so cute yeah and it, it does <laughs> You can level up your characters, you have different teammates. I had a fun time with this game. So now it's coming to Switch, I'll probably double dip, because this is one of those games that would be really fun on the go. Yeah. And you got you got special powers and shit like this. Uh, the story is, like, random nonsense, um, <laughs> but it, it's, it's serviceable. And uh, you get cool little power-ups and stuff like that and special moves. It, it's a fun little game. It's pretty short, but I, I had a good time. Awesome. But I, yeah, this is Phantom Breaker. I think it comes out next or on December seven. So that's actually in a couple days. Yeah, that's starting the game awards. I think. Yeah, fun little game, and it's four player co op. <laughs> oh, oh, local though. 
I would assume, assume so. I think it is, yeah. Oh. Yeah, oh, it's a Nintendo, so. Yeah. <laughs> but you can see here, <laughs> little, you're fighting demons, and they're, they all have really hilarious personalities. But uh, yeah, you guys can check out the rest of that trailer elsewhere. It's a cool little game. Uh, what, what do you guys think about this Phantom Breaker? I've never actually played it. I never. I mean, I feel like I've heard of it before, but I guess I it's. I, I probably passed it up because it was like chibi waifu characters, and usually those kind of games don't catch my attention. But I mean, I guess it's fun. It might be fun. I have never seen anybody play it though. But mm. if, if you say it's fun, I'm I'm gonna believe you. So yeah, it, it's a fun game. Uh, Kuvan, you ever, you ever play this kind of game? Mm, nope. It looks interesting though. I might. Check it out. And you said it's like a beat em up. It looks yeah, like it's half, a beat em up. It, it has like half. Yeah, it has like a little beat em up feel to it's, it. It's got beat em up, and then there's like an RPG kind and of thing RPG. where you can level up yeah. your stats too. Yeah, I might have to pick okay. that up. I like how I like how kind of over the top it is. It, it, it's ridiculous. It's, it's super, ridiculously over the top. Japanese craziness. Yeah. <laughs> but definitely, uh, let, definitely. Yeah. What was that? Definitely. I'm definitely gonna right. check it out. Yeah. That comes out in two days. Uh, oh, I don't know the price. Okay. Guys. Okay, cool. I see. What What's I up? See. I'm just looking at it. I'm looking at the trailer. Ah, okay. Uh, let's move on. Nine parchments came out on the Nintendo Switch today. I'll just play the trailer. I'll turn the sound off here. Um, this was a game that uh, I was pretty interested in. Uh, Nia as well, and, and uh, we were going to play a coupon, but coupon has lost interest in this game. <laughs> 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 I, just, I really have. So I don't we know. We can relive we'll our this. Magicka days I mean, with this game. Y'all, y'all can Yo, still this, play it. It's just this game looks fire. I don't know why why you don't like this game, but whatever. I don't know. I <laughs> played she played it by herself, and, I, and she's like, "Oh, it's wack," because I played it by myself. I was like, "Well, yeah, no. it's not me." Okay, well, before myself. you put words in my in my mouth, I don't <laughs> like it because I just seriously don't like it. I played it, and I was like, "I don't like how this is playing. I don't enjoy it at all. Even with you guys, I'm not gonna have fun." Sorry, I just don't like it. You so, don't like the gameplay. I just don't like it at all. Like, I was not having fun. I could have fun by myself in gaming. Like, I don't need people to have fun with. It just makes the experience better than what it would be by yourself. Well, and if to, it's not to fun fair, to be by just... myself, right. it's not going to be any fun with you guys. I'm, I'm just, 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 just going to put this out there. To be fair, this game is to be played with four people. But whatever. Know, it is what it is. We'll find two like other it. people to play with. Yeah, uh, fine. <laughs> Nia, you still interested in Nine Parchments? Yeah. It, it puts yeah, me in right. mind the Trine. Did you ever play Trine? Trine or Trine 2? Yeah, I've played Trine. Man. It's by the same people, isn't it? Yeah, it's by the same people. So, yeah. That's, yeah. That's so, if we, if we can find another two people who want to play this yeah. game with us, uh, it, it is online, right? Yeah. And it's like, it's kind of like, uh, yeah, it's online and it's local. And like, um, okay, cool. the focus is like, you know how when we played Magicka and everything is basically magic spells? This is basically Magicka. Yeah. So... Okay, this looks cool. If we can find two people to consistently play this with us, then I will have no problem picking this up. But if you tell me you're going to play this in the chat, people, if you guys tell me you're going to play this game and you don't help us play this game, I'm going to freak out. All right? I don't like buying games that we don't end up playing. And I'm just saying, at least you got the heads up from me before you purchased it. That's Thank true. you, so, Coupon. Normally, <laughs> normally you don't get them heads up because you know how I hate when people I, I buy a game and y'all bail. So if, at least I'm letting you know I don't like it. If you guys look here in the top right corner, Coupon is actually in this game as the Ice Queen. So oh! <laughs> yeah, I said that. I was wondering what you were saying because uh, I remember you said it last time. You were like, yeah, I'm in the game. I'm like, I don't see this. And then I saw her. I was like, queen. oh, you met her? The little ice chick? <laughs> like, whatever. That's yeah. hilarious. <laughs> That's cool. But nine, nine parchments, if we can find some people like uh, like an Unforgiven, maybe you want to play, or Nick, freaking Nick. Nah, maybe Nick, Nick will want to play. Freaking Nick. Nick is whack. All right, <laughs> let's move on to something really cool that I'm excited about. Shantae, nice. more DLC for Shantae. Nice. Uh, yeah. Friends to the End trailer. We'll just play this trailer in the background here. He said so, I don't get two shits no more. <laughs> <laughs> I, it gets, I get it's copyright it. claim regardless, so it's. Yeah. I'm just going to play the video from now on. If it's not but, from Nintendo, it's from YouTube. It's somebody you else. Or yeah, so, so it's like, ah, what's the point of even trying? Uh, but in this DLC, you play as uh, her three friends. I always forget their names. Oh, cool, finally. Oh, yeah, I was so this I is really cool. They all have their own power. Oh, yeah, Roddy Tots. Roddy Tots or something. Mm -hmm. And it looks like you can actually interchange characters on the fly, which is really cool. cool. That's I'm cool. Gonna, I'm going to check that out for real. Yeah. Roddy, um, Bolo, and... Yeah, look at that. And Sky. So Sky. they all have their own kind of attacks. Obviously no genie powers, but it is what it is. Yeah. And uh, it seems like you play some of the same levels, but there are new specific levels. Uh, I don't want to give anything away because there's they're trying to do something that 
directly affects what happened in the original game. So, mm. uh, if you played the the first Shantae, well, not the first Shantae, Shantae Half Genie Hero, uh, there's a section in the game where something happens and these guys say they did something, but we never really knew what they did, and now yeah. we get to play. Ah, uh, so that's what, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, let's, uh, what do you guys think about this, Shantae? I don't know when it's uh, out. I think it's out today. I'm not sure. I hope uh, they, I hope, because you know, like how in Pirate's Curse, Shantae lost all her powers. And funny yeah. enough, that's like the best Shantae to me, anyway. Yeah, Pirate's Curse kicks ass. So if they could do something along the lines of Pirate's Curse, where you're kind of using like, uh, like materials to get things done versus like powers and stuff like that, I'd be down for that. I, I liked Pirate's Curse a whole lot. Yeah, I, I love Pirate's Curse. If they redid Pirate's Curse with Half Genie Hero's graphics, oh, that'd be perfect. Oh, I love that. Oh, my God, that'd yeah. be perfect. Hey, Shantae ain't being milked. <laughs> Calm down, all right? All yeah, right, yeah, uh, Shantae let's... is coming out with new games, though. I mean, I mean yeah. at least. At, at, least, at least it's new games. New games, guys, new games. Uh, um, Let's move on. Right. WWE 2K18 for the Uh-oh. Nintendo Switch has finally got a release date. Uh-oh. December 6th, a stealth release, guys. That's tomorrow. Oh, yeah, that's, that's tomorrow. Literally tomorrow free. It is literally it's tomorrow. Stealth release. I'm worried. <laughs> uh, that's, that's, that's not good because nobody's going to, like, it's yeah, kind of yeah. under the radar. We'll see uh, when we look at the screenshots how not good it is, but let me, let me just read through <laughs> this stuff. As oh, previously announced, WWE 2K18 is in development for the Nintendo Switch. But fans have been left wondering when can they get their hands on the game? Oh, the answer is finally here. WWE 2K18 will be available for Nintendo Switch this week as it rolls out worldwide in physical and digital format starting December 6th. Uh, side note, people, you do need a 24 gigabyte download to get this game, uh, even if you have the physical version. If you Those ain't got a pre- chip, you suck. Yeah, you, you gotta make sure you got that memory card. That is mandatory at this point, guys. Uh, if you're playing any, planning on playing any third-party games, you need a memory card. That's Basically. just, it is what it is. It just is what it is. Uh, those who pre-ordered the physical version on Nintendo will receive two playable versions of Hall of Famer Kurt Angle and his American Hero Persona and Wrestling Machine in uh, ECW. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it has the My Career Mode, the Road to Glory, Dynamic Creation Suite, which is where you can make your own characters. That's where I always have the most fun. I'm going to make Drone Crusher this time. Uh, the biggest <laughs> the biggest roster ever, since it has all WWE and NXT characters. That is wild. That is crazy. Um, the only thing it's missing, as far as I can tell, is it doesn't have any of the matches that have eight characters. It, it limits it to six, because the Switch can't do eight, apparently. Uh, but other than that, all the content is there. So this is exciting. Uh, I've been waiting for this. As you guys know, I love wrestling. Wrestling. Uh, <laughs> I love it. So I wanted this on my Switch, but uh, this is some problem. One of the problems is it's a stealth release, and that just puts fear into my heart. But <laughs> if we look here, there's been some screenshots of the game, and uh, it, it is not a beautiful, it's not a pretty game, as we can as we can see here. Here's AJ Styles, the phenomenal one, and uh, it's a uh, it's not it's not a very pretty game. Uh, but I, I'm gonna mainly play this on the go. I would imagine there's Brock Lesnar. That that's uh, not not great. Not, I mean, there, there's, there's there's gonna be. It's going to be some downgrades, obviously. There, there's Orton. Uh, yeah, blurry signs. The crowds, they're all dimmed, so you don't see the crowd that much. Yeah, they do. <laughs> oh, God, they look good. There's Stone Cold Steve Austin. Look, He's looking, looking good. I wouldn't be playing this game for the looks anyway if I was yeah, interested. And, and there's the People's Champ, The Rock. Um, like, it, it is what it is. We all know going in, Nintendo Switch games don't look amazing. But, like, I'm just so basing this boy. that... This is a 2K game, and 2K18 looked really good on the Switch. Uh, this one, not so much, which probably is why there is a stealth release. Uh, I would hold off on this, people, until you start seeing reviews, because chances are there might be problems with this game. Otherwise, they would have been hyping it up. Because as you know, NBA 2K18 oh, yeah. got hyped the yeah, hell out. Yeah. They went balls to the wall with the hype for that game, and this has been under the radar since jump so yeah. uh, i'd be a little worried if you're looking towards this game watch some reviews of people who own it on the switch specifically because uh this was made off on the side it wasn't part of the main team as far as i know so uh 60 bucks i think right now if you buy it on walmart it's 20 dollars off if you still pre-order it before tomorrow i saw somebody talking about that online 
Uh, but again, I, I personally would wait just to make sure. Uh, and of course, there are still all the season passes. Like there's a $90 version, which includes some other characters. And then there's a... There's an even more expensive one, which has there's a, there's a lot of DLC <laughs> for this game, guys. Uh, but you, you you guys don't like wrestling, right? You're not interested in this. Mm-mm. Not 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 a little bit, not at all. Sorry. Yeah, I'll just make uh, I'll make Drone Crusher look like Rikishi and call it a day. Oh, <laughs> but okay, let's 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 move on oh, uh, to some pretty funny new. Well, funny from my perspective, not funny from this lady's perspective. Hell um, no. <laughs> A mother who ordered her son a 300-pound Nintendo Switch receives a four-pound box of Daz instead. Uh, apparently, Daz is detergent. It says here, have a dazzling white Christmas, Daz, white, and colors. <laughs> Uh, this past Cyber Monday, a mother of two by the name of Charlotte Moore ordered a Nintendo Switch package from Amazon. She had intended to buy the Switch as a holiday present for her children, and she was hoping to surprise them with it. In fact, she was originally going to keep everything in the box and reveal it to them on Christmas. That would have been priceless. However, upon receiving the package, when Charlotte opened the package, she was shocked to realize that she had received a package of Daz, washing powder instead. Further inspection reveals that the box had been opened already, and it was then that she taped it back together. Amazon is currently investigating the situation. Detective Pikachu's on the job. And a spokesman apologized and claimed that Nintendo Switch will be sent to Charlotte as soon as one becomes available. Merry freaking Christmas. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Someone literally. I wonder how someone. Well, it's probably obviously somebody from Amazon. It was an Amazon worker. It was, yeah, it was an Amazon worker. They literally opened that thing up and put something else in it. They would have Amazon. to be. Yeah. So they otherwise, got it from, they got it from Amazon. They, they got, she got she bought it from Amazon, but yeah, somebody oh, opened it. Somebody wow. at. Somebody at Amazon, most likely, we can't confirm. More than, like, more, confirm. Than likely. More, than, more than likely, more than had likely. opened the box and switched it with a box, a box of detergent and sent it to her. That's uh, crazy. That's messed up. Fire <laughs> so, that uh, dude. So Fire Amazon him. worker who did that, first of all, you're an asshole. But second of all, that was very funny. You're but third of all, you should be you're fired. Still <laughs> you're like, still you're, an asshole. Though. You're an asshole. Be, it was funny, but you're still an fired. asshole. This guy robbed Christmas and gave them soap. <laughs> and the crazy part is, like, when you lift the box, it's probably about the same It's size. probably the same weight. The weight there you go, yeah. the same weight. That's mean, dog. That's mean. That's it's totally so mean. That's mean. horrible. But at least Amazon came through, and they're going to send her the correct product. Nice. So, all's well that ends well for Charlotte and her children. Nintendo Switch is on the way. Welcome to the Switch gang. All right, let's move oh, on to something. Said that you're mad because it wasn't your idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's definitely, <laughs> That's definitely an Alex thing to do. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let, uh, let's move on to something else very interesting. Nintendo and uh, NVIDIA are taking their little partnership to the next level where Nintendo is now releasing Wii era games in HD for the first time on the NVIDIA Shield. But here's the catch. It's in China only. Which is unfortunate, but uh, that could always change. It says, way back in January, we reported a rumor of NVIDIA and Nintendo teaming up to bring some games to NVIDIA Shield. Today, we see that rumor confirmed. At an event held today, it was confirmed that new Super Mario Bros. U, Punch-Out!, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, and Mario Galaxy are on the way. These games will be optimized for the platform. As of right now, the plans are only for China. So as you can see here, this dude has a NVIDIA Shield, and he has these four games that he can buy. This is very cool. This is the first time these games have been re-released in HD. You know what I think? And I'm, I might be a little bit more <clears throat> optimistic than I should be because it's Nintendo. Probably yeah. think this, what you're if probably this, thinking the same thing as me. <laughs> Go. What if this is a precursor to Virtual uh-huh. Console? Yep, that's what I was thinking. I, I think it might be even one step further. I think the Switch might gain access to the NVIDIA store. That, oh. yeah. That might oh. be a thing. <laughs> Game. Might be thing. You, but they'll limit it to Nintendo games. But That's maybe oh, even still, game. Yeah, so <laughs> we we games in HD bought through the Nvidia store. 
on our, our beautiful, wonderful, lovely Nintendo Switch, which I absolutely love. Yeah. Uh, but that could be just furthering their expansion. Like NVIDIA and Nintendo's partnership is yeah. a magical, wonderful thing. It might be something more than what we thought, just making the hardware. It could be evolving yeah. until they're becoming a part of each other's ecosystems. If they do that, I swear to God, game! Period. Can you, <laughs> game can imagine, over. Can you imagine a point where... Uh, if you own an NVIDIA graphics card, you have access to Nintendo games on PC. Oh. Oh. Like, there's a lot of potential. A lot of interesting things they can do with this partnership. Because that right there, that far, being, oh being able to buy Nintendo games on PC exclusively through the NVIDIA store, like, bye-bye AMD. Have fun. I will sell this graphics card and buy an <laughs> NVIDIA card the same fucking day that is announced. Right. <laughs> Me too. Oh my god. That's the... Ugh. But this I'm is not, wild. To me, this uh, blows my mind that this is happening. Because Nintendo is so tight with the yeah. IPs. Yeah. Like, you could play real Mario, real yep. Punch-Out, real Zelda game. If they yeah. bring that to the States, game, period. Because, because let's so not get it right twisted. Right. Everybody wants to play a fucking Nintendo game. They exactly. just don't want the Nintendo box. They just don't exactly. want to buy the box. There's certain people that don't want to buy the box. So if they can get the Nvidia, you know, the Nvidia Shield to get that freaking game through that, and they ain't gotta buy the box, it's game. They they won't tell you, but they're gonna yeah. get it. Free. <laughs> so for the the ten or twenty people that own an Nvidia Shield in China, oh you have God. a some good games to access. <laughs> I just think it's really cool that they actually remade the games in HD for this. Like, the Wii U never got it in HD. The Switch yeah. so far has not gotten it. So, yeah. uh, this could be potentially something very cool. I They're probably just testing punch it out right HD. now. Yeah, Punch Wait. Out HD. Like, I, I, I would that. love to play. Actually, I did play Twilight Princess in HD on the Wii U. But uh, Galaxy in HD, that would be nice. Like, Wait. this could be very, Imagine very cool. Imagine how gorgeous that game will look in HD. Because Mario yeah. Galaxy is already a very pretty game. It's already, like, even if you play it now by today's standards, like, it's still a good looking game, even though it's, like, not even yeah, HD. Just it's the crazy. resolution, you know? But, like, as far yeah. as the way that it looks, it's a great looking game. Good looking yeah. game. But yeah, exciting, exciting stuff. I like to see that their partnership is getting more cool things. Let me add the reverse side of this. Okay, so let's say that they do this and they decide to make these games available through the NVIDIA store, Nintendo games available in the NVIDIA store. Do you think that this partnership could potentially have the same reverse effect Mm -hmm. that maybe Xbox Play Anywhere is having on the Xbox? Uh, not really, because not of the nature of the Switch, because you can take the Switch around with you. Yeah, they I'll say don't, they don't really I'll, have to worry about stuff like that. Yeah, I'll say this: if they're gonna do it, if if they have it the way they have it now, where it's gonna be older games, then no. As long as the new games are on the Switch, they the people have to have a Switch in order to get the new game. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't think, feel like that too. If they do it that way, then yeah, then people. There's no way the they're games. gonna do day and day games yeah. like Xbox. So does. I think it's yeah. gonna be older games that are gonna be on the you know, in which the, is still cool. Yeah, which is cool. Yeah. People yeah. still gonna play them and they'll still make money off of that but like yeah. as long as they keep the newer games on the switch and go- going forward they'll they'll be fine can you imagine can you imagine in the future you know how there's like a a, a star wars themed gtx titan we get a fucking zelda themed graphics card Woo! oh my god <laughs> oh my god don't tell me that i can i can finally have my oh i can finally my have god. a triforce you got a Triforce on the blower. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> we have like some serious nerd gasms over here. <laughs> like, I'm, like I'm such a freaking, such a freaking fangirl for the freaking. <laughs> Don't do that to me. I'm such I'll a fangirl. Don't for do Zelda. that. To that me. would literally I blow mean, my mind. Don't do that to That'd me. That'd be a beautiful thing. Frig, I'm gonna uh, start selling drugs well, if they do that. Frig. <laughs> I mean. well, let, let's go from one shocking news article to another oh. one. Actually, three shocking news articles. Wait, for us. how how freaking so, shocking? From a company we thought was as Dead. good as gone. Dead. <laughs> and a mascot, or at least didn't want our money. <laughs> and a mascot so, <laughs> so okay. left in the dust that we thought he had completely died. Mega Man. Mega Man is coming. Mega Man is back. We got something new from Mega Man, and they're all coming to the Switch. Oh, sorry. I'm loving this music right now. 
<laughs> the nine, 19 Mega Man games are coming to the Switch. What the fuck? So first first up, Mega Man Legacy Collection 1 and 2. This is the original NES Mega Man games. Uh, both they are coming. They have both packs coming to the Switch, and they're actually adding Amiibo support. Yay. Um, Mega Man on Twitter uh, tweeted out, It's time to switch things up. Ha ha ha. Oh, he Mega had a... Mega Man Legacy Collection 1 and 2. He had a Twitter, <laughs> had a Twitter account. 2018. Tune in, to, and I watched that Capcom thing. Uh, it was all right, but Mega Man 30. I'm just happy they they actually celebrated Mega Man a, awesome. in a very nice way. The the way they did it, I thought was pretty solid. That's awesome. Looks like Capcom is out to the right some wrongs when it comes to the Nintendo Switch owners. The company revealed Mega they Man. Knew, they knew that the, the, they they heard us. <laughs> oh yeah, we said, we said yeah. Mega Man. <laughs> Uh, like, let's let's be real. This game is gonna sell the best on the Switch. It's yeah, probably it's gonna outsell the Xbox and PlayStation versions combined. A lot. That, that's just what it is. A lot of Mega Man fans are also Nintendo fans. That's right. just this how is it is. We made that man stay relevant. Stay relevant in Smash Brothers alone. Yeah. Right. And that was the only man semblance amiibo? of his life. Yep. Of hey. course, there's a Mega Man amiibo. I have him. Right, right here. here. There <laughs> it is. Rockman. Mega Man. I got mine and, uh, too. And he will work in this game. Good. So, uh, I don't, it doesn't say what the Amiibo support is, but... Uh, uh, all I'm yeah. saying is, can, <laughs> I get, can I get my Mega Man X Amiibo? Can I get my Zero oh, Amiibo? My I Proto want, Man Amiibo? I want a Zero and Mega Man Le- X Amiibo. And I just want my Proto Man, Zero, my Proto Man uh, Amiibo and I'll be good. Thank you. If I, this uh, game does well, I think that they will bring out some Mega Man Amiibo. Probably for the next They Smash probably Bros. will. Like, it's a missed opportunity. This, this game was a no-brainer to be on Switch to begin with. For right. whatever reason, they waited for the Switch version. Maybe they were waiting for this collection of for yeah. Mega Man's 30th anniversary, I guess. But still, like the other, the Xbox and the PlayStation, they got this game like six months ago. So mm-hmm. and, and it's, I never it's heard not really, it's, it's not so doing well because people yeah. aren't playing it. They ain't, they ain't having it. But Mega Man on the Switch, it's gonna sell well, uh, as as we expect it to do. Because Mega Cause Man, they were surprised that Street Fighter sold well. They were surprised that other games sold God, well. I hate Cap- Why are you surprised <laughs> about shit? Think about your what your uh, think, think about your game you have, base, you and clowns. think about your audience, you dumbass. People over yeah. there on the Xbox and PlayStation ain't think about no damn Mega Man. They could give exactly. a fuck about. Exactly, they don't give a fuck about Mega Man. Most of these dudes grew up with a 360 and PS3. They don't yeah, even know what the hell even, Mega Man is. They don't is. even know who Mega Man is. The the people who grew up with Mega Man are Nintendo fans. <laughs> Dumbasses. Capcom. So that's that's where Mega Man was at on Nintendo. Fuck. Uh, wait, wait. Here, we are not here to blow smoke up Capcom's ass. You got a lot of work to do, Capcom. But this but is we're a happy great that start. you find. Yeah, we're happy yeah. you finally pushed push the panic button. And, uh, <laughs> hey, God, that's wait. exactly what this is. Panic. Panic <laughs> button. Um, what was I gonna say? Let's let's move on to the next one, because uh, there's more Mega Man stuff to come, people, and that is what I'm more excited about. Oh, yeah. All eight Mega Man X titles are coming yes! to the Switch. That's wild. And yeah. this one seems to be day and day, so that is exciting. Uh, Mega Man X One and X Two are some of my favorite Super uh. Nintendo games of all time. And now I can take it on my Switch on the go. So oh let me, God. Let me get this right. So the so we're getting Mega Man Legacy Collection one and two, and mm-hmm. these eight Mega Man X games. Yes. Rick. Yeah, like I said, nineteen games are coming. I'm That's telling you guys, game. it's be- it's great to be a Nintendo fan right now. Yep. Like it's as as badly as we were treated and misguided and malnourished in the Wii U era. Look at how they're pay- repaying us. Yeah. So uh, it, it, it says here they're, they're not they sure if it's be released on the shop. That's what I'm reading here. Awesome. It says that there's no information if it's a compilation or if it's single Please. game releases, Please. but uh, they're all on the way. Please Anyways. be a collection. Hopefully it's a collection because that'll be cheaper. I want a collection. That's Damn crazy. It. <laughs> That's a lot of Mega Man freak. It yeah. is. That's a it ton is. of Mega Man. I'm more interested in these X titles than the old ones. But speaking, uh, like, of, speaking of Mega it Man, is what it is. A lot of shit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Mega Gamer is probably flipping his shit. He's oh yeah, like, Mega Mega's in he, right now. He, yeah, but he don't have a Switch yet. I told him to get one. 
Yeah, they're coming to everything. Yeah, all these stuff is coming to Xbox and PS4 as well. Yeah, yeah. All these stuff is coming to Xbox and PS4 as well. Oh, okay, then he's fine. He'll probably play it on PlayStation. But, but yeah, the Switch it's version better, is the definitive better, like, edition because you can take it around yeah, with you. Take it around because they these aren't HD remakes or anything. So Mm-mm. the best Mm-mm. version of these games are on the Switch, and that okay. is 4K. rare. So it's something cool. Uh, but something else, Capcom. What? It's not all remasters and re-releases with Capcom today. Oh, Mega shit. Man. Mega Man is back with yeah. a brand new game, Mega Man 11, which oh. is coming to the Nintendo Switch in 2018. Fuck Mighty Number no. 9. Oh my god. Uh, we're going to go ahead and yeah, watch I did it. the video. What? Yeah, Mighty, Mighty Number no. 9 was a lie, but uh, this one looks like it's going to be oh a good Oh my god, game. look at it. It's so beautiful. Okay. Watch this video <laughs> the music. There. And uh, yeah, Mega Man 2.5D. We all miss you, man. man. We thought you were dead, my homie. We've been trying to <laughs> under- we've been trying to get you out of that burial ground for the longest. It's been fucking forever. <laughs> they wouldn't listen to us. We were trying. We were just digging you up all day. We just they just kept throwing dirt. We just kept picking it up. Like, oh, we finally got you I'm, out. I'm happy they didn't go with that uh, the, the animation for the cartoon. Like, I'm yeah, glad he doesn't look like the cartoon version of Mega yeah. Man, because that one does not it's look little, great. It's, it's pretty whack. <laughs> but oh, this Mega Man is classic Mega Man. This is Mega Man 11, so it's a continuation from the older NES games. I like how they kept them 2D. Yeah. yeah. It's 2D, but with, like, modern graphics. Yeah. So it looks very... It, it's not, like, the best-looking game in the world. No, no. But no, I can't imagine this is going to be a $60 game anyways. Yeah, yeah it's, it's better than Like, the visuals are serviceable. Visuals are fine. It looks very similar to Mighty Number no. 9. I'm a, um, I'm probably assuming that Capcom went over and they stole their stuff. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> just, it, it just it seems like they it. went over to their office or talked to Inafune and was like, hey, give us whatever you have left of Mighty Number no. 9. Give us your Mighty just nine, just nine, give us all your nine shit. shit. Give us all your we'll shit put, and we'll fix this. And then they just kind of did better. Yeah, <laughs> but it's uh, it's cool to see Capcom actually making new games, not just re-releasing games. And Mega Man, after so many years, is finally getting a new game. Yeah, uh, and boy. we'll see more about it in summer 2018. But uh, thoughts? Excited? Totally excited. I'm glad Man, we get a new lit. game. We get both uh, Mega Man collections and we get the X. Like, hells yes. And Mega Man's back. That's mm-hmm. awesome. Mega Man. Man's back. I'm happy. That's awesome, man. Like, for the last break, I don't even know how long, but we've been so disgruntled with with Capcom's decision making. Oh, wait a minute. Lately. What's up? Hmm. And 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 they announced um freaking Devil May Cry. I totally forgot about that one. Is that confirmed or is that a rumor? I thought that's still a rumor. I heard it was confirmed. Maybe I, let me go double check on that. But I heard it was confirmed. Let me go see. Well, you guys well, go, if, go ahead and finish talking. Is, talking if it is real, they'll show it at the PlayStation Expedia. Yeah, the Expedia. They'll, they'll definitely show it. When show is it. that? They'll that's either sometime show this it. Month. They'll either show it at the PlayStation Experience or at the Game Awards. The game oh yeah, maybe the yeah, Game Awards true. too. Yeah. Like game that. Awards is uh, Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, okay. yeah. Are we uh gonna be um? Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll live stream it or whatever. Okay. Yeah, right. if I'm if I'm not, I shouldn't be busy that day. But all right, cool. But um, like man, Capcom has been making a lot of questionable decisions, but here lately, I feel like they're trying to come back, man. I don't I don't remember which one of y'all said it, but it's almost as like. Capcom saw all the L's they were taking. They were <laughs> like, you know what? We gonna try to we gonna try to go back, man. We gonna try to do some things and give the gamers some goodwill because um, I've heard somebody say it before, like Capcom hasn't just like crapped on Nintendo guys. Like they've been crapped on pretty much everybody. Like everybody, everybody. yeah. Capcom has pretty much been a for, a, a shell of their former selves for some time now, and I feel like the only IP that they've really done complete justice has been. Um, uh, Monster Hunter, and then more recently, uh, Resident Evil. So I mean, dang, like freak, like I just make like I I didn't really play a lot of Mega Man back in the day, so I don't yeah. really have as much attachment um to the franchise as a lot of people have. But just seeing the the excitement that Mega Man fans have because Capcom is actually doing their board right or suppo- seemingly doing their board right, it makes me happy because. Even though I didn't play Mega Man back in the day, I still grew up and recognized him as uh, one of the pivotal characters 
in the in the medium you know what i'm saying so yeah, yeah i'm yeah. just i'm glad i'm glad for y'all man i'm glad so. all right coupon i'm gonna put something on the screen here i don't want you to freak out all right mm -hmm. all right all right calm down all right but uh persona 5 christmas costume dlc for free uh, oh nice okay. i it's didn't beautiful. see it it's gonna pop up yeah, it's gonna be a minute because you know how long these fucking streams take. <laughs> put it in the two, team, put it two in the hours team later. Discord chat so she can yeah, see just, it. Mm. Yeah, so. All right. Well, you'll see it in a minute, anyways. But yeah, that's uh, Capcom Mega Man. I'm happy. Uh, Capcom's yeah, like Mia said, it looks like they're trying to <laughs> that looks whack. fix their wrongs. <laughs> um, they brought up uh, Resident Evil for the hundredth time. Uh, mm -hmm. Monster Hunter's on the way. Monster Hunter's looking good. If that Devil May Cry thing is real, I'm going to be very happy. Because Devil May Cry is one of the best franchises of all time. Like, and if we get that and Mega get Man, the, like, that's good. And, and Monster Hunter. Real, <laughs> and you get real freaking, De real freaking Dante, not that whatever the hell. Yeah, that real that Dante, is. not Nero, whatever the hell his name is. No, I like Nero, that's fine. But that other Dante. Yeah, bitch made too. Yeah. Uh, the, oh, DMC, the one by yeah, Ninja D Yeah, the DMC dumbass one. I don't yeah. want him at all. Get him the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. but, I, I, I mean, I, like, I could handle Nero over that at least, yeah. but we had, if we get an actual Dante back, then I'm I'll happy. be happy. But, uh, yeah, they're, they're doing cool stuff. Like, Monster Hunter, they said no loot boxes. Like, there's still a long way for Capcom yeah. to go, because they've, they've done so many shit things this generation. But, uh, well, I hope they stay away from loot boxes. There's no need for it in Monster Hunter at all. Like, you can do yeah. They could do it. They if could they do wanted it, to, but they don't. could hold They could easily They could it. hoe us out with it, and if they did, I would stay the fuck away from that game completely. So, <laughs> I'm actually pretty proud of them, because... I'm gonna like, tell you yeah. right now. If they have... If they say... If there's any whispers of any micro... <laughs> transactions of any kind I'm, fuck that game i don't Ow. care anymore Man, I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually proud of them because anybody who's played monster hunter knows that there's a huge focus oh, on like yeah. carving the the monsters yep. getting the parts yeah. you need for the costumes and the outfits and all the other stuff that you need it would be so easy that. to microtransaction that game, <laughs> but they didn't do it up man i'm proud of them for that fact alone Fair Good enough. luck on all you people who are looking forward to Anthem, cause <laughs> oh, that that is gonna that, be a that shit is gonna be that that's actually gonna pretty be disappointing, man. I'm not going to get it now. I, I yeah. was going to, but after all this yeah. debauchery, I'm that's, done. Uh, I'm done with EA for life. I don't want another EA game in my house. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> I'm good. They're terrible. Fucking ass. <laughs> That's crazy because I actually like like I I love those sci-fi exploration type games like I love that stuff and they mm -hmm. messing it up freak they messed up uh, Star Wars so bad and I'm it's just like up, my man. god you didn't have <laughs> speaking of which um if there's a game that's sci-fi that anybody needs to play right now just go check out Warframe we need to play that together sis we actually, need to check that out too I heard like, it's actually I've a good game now. I've been mm -hmm. watching a lot of gameplay of it, and oh my god, it looks so good. So I got to download that. It's free to play. There are your your usual microtransactions, but they're not intrusive. Like yeah. the way that they have them in there, you will get the materials. You get it in a very uh uh timely manner. You're not everything is a grind, but it's a satisfying grind, and yeah. you don't have to pay for a single thing if you absolutely do not want to. Yeah. If you just want That's something good. faster, then sure, go ahead and pay for it. But when you pay for it, you get exactly what you want. Yeah, it's not an RNG. Like nope, it's not RNG. You just get what you paid for and you move on. Yeah. That's what okay, uh, but let's move on to the last thing here. Uh, video Game Awards are on Thursday, as we were talking about earlier. We will be mm -hmm. uh, hopefully streaming for you guys, but I just wanted to go through the little uh, options here, the ones that have Nintendo games in them, and we'll see if, Ninten if we think the Nintendo game will win in this category. I will do Game of the Year last, but let's start with the uh, Best Game Direction. It says, awarded to a game studio for outstanding creative vision and innovation in a game direction and design. And we have Wolfenstein 2, Resident Evil 7, uh, Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey, and Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, do you think Nintendo is going to pull a win out of here, or do you think Wolfenstein or Horizon got them beat? What is it? What's the category again? Uh, best game direction awarded for a game studio for outstanding creative vision and innovation. It's, I think it's gonna be between probably Wolfenstein and Horizon. I think anyway, Horizon's gonna but, get it because it's got those yeah. like, big, like I mean, like we haven't really seen like big, huge, like robotic monsters in the game like that. 
Mm-hmm. So I oh, think... the, the Wolfenstein. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Wolfenstein has big robot monsters too. Like in like how Horizon does it though, like where they're just like these big massive things mm. roaming around. I don't know. It might be Horizon because it's a new, <laughs> a new IP as well, so they might give it to. Uh, they might give it to Horizon. Know. Yeah, because I'm. Gonna, uh, if I I'm, wanted one of the Nintendo games to win, I would. Pro- I haven't played Mario. I gotta get on that. I was supposed um, to send you my copy free. Totally forgot. Sorry. It's it's fine. Um, <laughs> I'm actually gonna purchase it at, at some oh, point. Okay. So don't even worry about it. Um, but I, I mean, I don't know. It's just. I'm gonna say Mario simply because at least Mario, as far as story and everything, everything's more polished. Just a few little caveats I have with uh, Breath of the Wild as far as um, direction, but it's a, such a good game direction for a new um, Zelda game, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, I think okay. uh, for game direction, they're gonna give it to Zelda just because it's so different than all the other Zelda games. And that's that was what true. Was, that might be people that's praised the game that's for that. A good point. I think it's between Zelda and, 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 and Breath probably of the Wild or Zelda and Horizon. Horizon, probably. Maybe, yeah. Okay. I see your point. I'm gonna I'm gonna say Zelda's gonna take this award. Uh best narrative. There's obviously no Nintendo game in there. Uh-huh. Uh, best <laughs> best art direction. Uh Destiny 2, Cuphead, Breath of the Wild, Persona, and Horizon. Uh, I wanna say Persona, but uh not a, I don't which, it's so niche category? though. For uh, best For art, the di- art direction. Best because art uh, direction. the reason I say persona because it had the like the uh ui the menu oh my god the freaking stylization of this stylized. game is yeah. so yeah. off the cuff but because it's such a niche game it might not even it might not get looked at i don't know um maybe breath of the i mean not breath of the Wild, but freaking i don't know maybe horizon i don't know maybe hmm I don't know. Uh, ah, yeah, no. Oh wait, actually Cuphead's in here. Mm, that's, a, Cuphead. woo, that's a curve I just forgot ball. about that. What? that you know might, what? It might be Cuphead. It might go to Cuphead. It might go to Cuphead. Cuphead, Cup- Cuphead will win. Out of the water I think Cuphead style. will get this one. I totally didn't notice that. Because it's the uh, only game with like such a unique art style. Like yeah, Horizon so- looks like any other open world game. Yeah, right. Yeah. And yeah, Breath of the Wild. Cuphead. Yeah, Breath of the Wild wasn't praised for its like art for, like the, art. the way it looks it more yeah uh, so it has a different art style cuphead or yeah. backup would be persona yeah i would say cuphead first and then maybe persona and yeah. destiny's only here because they paid to be here so down to the next for one art direction. Uh, <laughs> they paid to be in every I mean, fucking it's, one it's pretty much in every single <laughs> yeah game. they're almost in every category even categories they have no business being uh, um, I mean, why is best that? score slash music oh look well, you know destiny's here again <laughs> And Cuphead, Near Automata, Zelda, which should not be there, by the way. No, and Mario yeah, Odyssey should... and uh, Persona Five. I'm this a, one I has would have to go. Well, I haven't played. I haven't played Persona, but I was. I would have to go with Near. Near has like that music is crazy. I oh, haven't yeah. played Near, so I can't really vote on that. But I'm really between... just going off the demo because even the demo was like, bro, this music <laughs> is crazy. Near <laughs> Near's music is amazing. It's one of the highlights of the game. Like it's one of, it's it's that kind of music that gives you goosebumps type music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like oh, that grandiose cool. just ah, you know? I don't know. At least that's just to me. I don't know. For me personally, because I haven't played Nier, it's Persona because it gets me off my fucking chair and makes me want to freaking yeah, fight pers- everything. Persona and Nier are the best music. Persona I mean, probably Persona and Nier. If it's not Nier first, it'll be Persona for me. Cuphead yeah. still has that classic old school kind of uh, yeah. 40s type Ragtag. of music, but it's yeah, but it's not something spectacular. Mario yeah. has its Mario music. I mean, it's yeah. it's Mario. And Zelda, Zelda shouldn't barely even be has here. music. Yeah, yeah, like Zelda should be no there. It has no business being here. Like the and music Destiny and... is paid to be there, like, again. Yeah. The music in Zelda <laughs> is more atmospheric. It's more and, atmospheric. And it does well and... at being that, but it, I wouldn't really consider it a score. It's... It's I would have a, I would have put Splatoon two here instead of Breath of the Wild because we can like hear Zelda. Breath. The, yeah, Breath of the, <laughs> the Wild has the ambient in the background with the squid. Like the... Yeah, <laughs> Breath of the Wild has like a, <laughs> has like an ambient <laughs> music. Freaking Pearl got bars. Exactly. But yeah, I think Persona might. <laughs> it's Persona near. It's one of those yeah, two. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna give it to near I'm and then back up his Persona. Yeah. Uh, best audio design. We have Destiny Two, Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice, Resident Evil Seven, Breath of the Wild, and Mario Odyssey. Audio. Those are a lot of these audio? things. So this like is uh, the recognizing the best in-game audio and sound design. 
So not not necessarily music, not music, just all the other stuff like sound effects and whatnot. Oh, lower okay. The, lower the. Uh, so it's Destiny 2, Hellblade, Resident Evil, Breath of the Wild, and Odyssey. Hellblade for sure. Yeah. Like my I watched my boyfriend play Hellblade. Like the audio is everything. The audio in Hellblade in is game. next level. Nothing like, compares it, to him. Like 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 he he was like letting me listen to like you know how when the voices are talking to you and like yeah, you can kind of so hear freaky. him coming like in and out and it just yeah. it just sounds so like creepy like i don't know man i'm gonna go it's, with hellblade. it's crazy yeah i, I oh would go with hellblade as well. i'll go with what y'all say because i have not gotten a chance to check that out but i'm too sorry. i don't i don't think anything awesome. else here i don't think anything else here would because hellblade came out of nowhere and they did such an awesome job with that game so yep <laughs> it's a fantastic game. I'm happy it finally broke even. They just sold 500,000 copies, so now they've made a profit. Okay, that's uh, good. So they, they're they proof that you don't need some fucking asshole go, like yeah. to make your games for uh, to publish your games and ruin yeah. them. Yeah, uh, best yeah, performance, there's no Nintendo people here, so we're going to keep moving. Games uh, for Impact, don't care. Uh, best ongoing games, don't care. Yeah. Best mobile game, I'll <laughs> leave this to you guys since you guys play more mobile, mobile games than me. Matter, it's uh, and Heroes. Fire Emblem, yeah, Fire Emblem Heroes, Super Heroes, Mario yeah. Run, Old Man's Journey, Moment, Valley Fire, 2, and Fire Hidden Emblem Folks. Heroes. I'm uh, sorry. Fire Emblem Heroes? All right, yeah. I'm going to give it to Mario. But <laughs> <laughs> one of those two will win. Um, <laughs> All right, best handheld games is like 3DS and if you own one of Vita. Uh, so Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World, Monster Hunter Stories, Metroid Samus Returns, Ever Oasis, and Fire Emblem Echoes. Ooh, that's the. Ooh. That's actually oh, that's a really a, strong a, list nice of games. Ooh. Yeah, yeah Nintendo, you got all your games almost Ooh. in here. <laughs> yeah, this is this whole list is Nintendo, isn't it? Yeah, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> that's so that's yeah, hilarious. they're all Nintendo. That's funny. They're all Nintendo. Yeah, that's so. How funny. do you how do you pick the best Nintendo game out of Nintendo? Like, how do you oh, do that's, that? <laughs> that's truth. Mm. Well, first of all, I'm not a big fan of Yoshi, so I'm sorry. I'm just gonna knock that one out. Yeah, of that. Oh, damn. Was pretty cute. I think Metroid is. I think Metroid might be one. But Fire Emblem. But Fire Emblem was really what well, I heard was I heard pretty good. good. I, I that was a strong it, Fire Emblem. Yeah, but you know, I but you, yeah, game, but so. you know what I heard also is that Monster Hunter Stories actually took like was I a very was surprising. I mm. heard it was a very surprising. I haven't heard much about Ever Oasis. Like this at is all. Uh, this is going to be a tricky one. I so I think I'm it's going to be either Metroid or Fire Emblem. I think it's gonna, yeah. I think it's going to be either those two. Yeah. Because Ever Oasis and Monster Hunter Stories are too niche, and Yoshi was just an okay game. It yeah. Is, it is, isn't just a it's probably one of those two. Yeah, yeah, it's a port of the yeah. Wii U one with extra content, because, you know, 3DS gets extra content. <laughs> for whatever uh, reason. <laughs> for whatever reason. Uh, best action game, no Nintendo. Okay. Uh, best action adventure game. Uh, Uncharted Lost Legacy, uh, an amazing game. You guys should play that game. Uh, right, Assassin's Creed Origins, Breath of the Wild, Odyssey, and Horizon. Okay. Okay. For, I'm sorry. Adventure. For me, for me, <laughs> it's Zelda. <laughs> Action! Adventure. I just had a lot of fun with that game. But think I haven't been. I haven't. Yeah. Yeah. The the category of best action, action adventure, adventure is the. Yeah, so it says here for the best action slash adventure game combining combat with traversal and puzzle solving. Action! <gasps> Zelda for me because I haven't played Lost. I haven't played Lost Legacy yet, Ooh. and I'm pretty sure it'll change my mind after I play it, which is too late. And I haven't played Mario yet, and I have played a little bit of Horizon Zero Dawn, and I'm mm, no. I, it's kind of it's, it's boring. <laughs> it's boring compared to Zelda. And since I haven't played Mario or Lost Legacy, and I don't plan on picking up Assassin's mm -hmm. Creed, it shouldn't even be here. But uh, whatever. So but it was a good Assassin's it's, Creed. So it's a focus I, on exploration. So it says combat. traverse, uh, c combat, was... traversal, and puzzle solving. I think it might be Lost Legacy because I heard a lot of good stuff about this game. That's a it great might... game. I heard it might be Lost Legacy is a lot better than regular Uncharted, from what I heard. Yeah, it's way better than Uncharted. And, 4. and it has more puzzles too, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna have to say Horizon. I really want to say Zelda though, because I'm a Zelda shill. But I think that <laughs> if you want to pick Horizon, a game that goes with those, that solving? category. It's, I think it's going to have to be Uncharted. Because I know Uncharted usually does have puzzles. Um, yeah. Yeah, usually they have a decent amount of puzzles. The yeah. only reason I'm not looking at Mario is because it's 
I mean, it always it has its, its own flavor, but it's not like a action adventure in a sense. Adventure. As far as the battles are concerned, like the yeah. the action portion of it is just kind of like eh. You know, it's like you just yeah. step on a couple of things and move on with your life. Yeah. Same kind of, same kind of, sort of with Zelda. Even though it does have action and it has the puzzles and all that it's stuff, and you constant. are fighting, it's not a constant thing. It's up to you to go in there. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Origins. I'm pretty sure Origins has all the action adventure. I'm pretty sure Ze- uh, uh, Zero Dawn does. But I'm, I'm gonna go with Lost Legacy. I think yeah. it has more of it. I think it's the one that has yeah. all of it. It sounds like it. it- I haven't played plus, it yet, but plus it's got the story and all series. that extra stuff around it. Huh. Yeah, really. Oh, well, I've I've played Uncharted. I played uh, um, Breath of the Wild. I played Odyssey. I played Horizon. And based on the criteria, traversal, combat, and puzzle solving, it's Zelda, because Zelda has mm. um, changed the way we think of traversal but in open puzzles, world games. Though. The, but, it has puzzles. It puzzle. has the puzzles. The, it is the puzzle. one with the most puzzles. There's 120 shrines. I mean, yeah, like, <laughs> like the shrines yeah. are kind of like, I don't know. I feel like I like the shrines, but in some ways, those shrines are kind of like. You, ha- you have, okay, put it like this. You have shrines. You have also the uh, the beast, the divine beast. You also have um, the whole the whole map itself is That's a puzzle true. of unlocking That's things true. to yeah. get to See, other I places. I think about it like that. So That's you gotta true. think of it in the broader spectrum, yeah. and then you have the little puzzles as far as like the little mini games. A lot of different puzzles stuff like that. Yeah. So there's so puzzles like, galore in Zelda. Based in on the criteria they they give, I think Zelda fits it the most. Because hmm. uh, hmm. Uncharted, the traversal is it was kind as... of limited. They have an open world section, but you you can't really go where you want to go. They, okay, they gotcha. have a lot of stuff blocked off by invisible walls. Okay, okay gotcha. uh, Odyssey has really good traversal, but at the same time, the puzzle solving like it's not that it's intense. not really that. And okay, the gotcha. combat's on the basic side, but it, it that, that's what it is. It's Mario. Okay. Uh, and H- Horizon is it's just a boring game, so I'm not gonna pick. That. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna go. Yeah, Horizon really is boring. Like I tried to pick it up a couple times, and I'm just like, after playing, I played Zelda first, and that was my problem. And after playing Zelda, I could not even like open Can't world to me. Zelda like open world to me. After Zelda, any open world, if you truly gave Zelda a chance, any open world, you just gonna be like, fuck this shit. This ain't no open world. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, what is you this? see a you see a mountain off in the distance, and you get closer to it, and yeah. it's still in the distance. Why is it still in the distance yeah. when I'm getting closer? <laughs> Uncharted yes. dabbled with the open world, but they they just like tried it out because the open world is new for Uncharted. Yeah, uh, I guess they just wanted to give you a little bigger area to drive around in, but you can't really go wherever you want, which I found super annoying. So it's, so it's other than that, the, the game is good. The puzzles are good in the game, and the combat is excellent. Out of all these games, Uncharted has the best combat. Yeah, but okay. uh, but it's just that the traversal was so limited. I have to give okay. it to Zelda for that. No, okay, I can I I can dig it. <laughs> I can I dig it. With that. I'm, I'm Zelda all day, so. <laughs> uh, best uh, best role playing game. Uh, Nintendo did not make the list. I thought. Persona. They... No. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and put. Persona. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw Xenoblade in there, and we're still gonna give it to Persona no. next. <laughs> oh, no. best fighting game. Our buddy Blindry knows the answer. No. Uh, no. So... <laughs> yes. Let's not let's not so, do that. Yes. So best fighting yes. game. Tekken Seven. Why is Mid-Hawk arms in here? Two. How exactly. did Midhawk? Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, Injustice 2, and uh, ARMS. ARMS so, uh, obviously going to ARMS. Clearly, no, no. The, the, the clear choice here is Clearly, it's Marvel vs. Capcom. <laughs> clearly, it's Marvel vs. Capcom. Uh, the winner is Injustice 2 because they have the Ninja Turtles. End of story. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's actually how I feel about that. I, I was about to, I was literally about to say that. I'm like, hey, Ninja Turtles are in Injustice, the DN. Well, yep, to be it's... fair, Unforgiven, technically, Pokemon Tournament is not a 2017 game. It's yeah. a re release. So. It's a re release. So, there you go. Moving on, best family game. Boring game. Uh, po- Pokémon should have been here instead of Nidhogg, at least. Uh, but whatever, it is what it is. Eh, whatever. Because they, they they have Mario Kart and Splatoon in here. Well, Splatoon is new, but Mario Kart's game. an old game. That's true. That's that is an old game. And we're yeah. actually gonna bring that game up right now. Best family game, aka the Nintendo category. Right. Uh, we have Spl- we have Splatoon two. What? Lucky yeah. Tail didn't make it. So, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Coupon, I expect better of you. That is an Alex Tier <laughs> You know I you know I'm an asshole. I ain't a 24-7 one, but you know I gotta get my licks in every once in a while. 
Uh, no, no, strangely, Super Lucky's Tale, that <laughs> mediocre game, did not make it into the best family but I game. I thought it was fun. But, <laughs> but we have, but we have Splatoon what 2. What happened to Knack 2? <laughs> Knack 2 didn't make the cut either, unfortunately. Neither did Sonic Forces, did but Crash Sonic made Mania it? made it in. Oh, oh wow. Uh, Sonic Forces? Uh, no, they, they tried to put the Crash commercial in, but the game oh, didn't make it. My yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> so wow. Mario, Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle, uh, don't see how that's a family game, but okay. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Super Mario Odyssey. The obvious okay, choice first, is Mario okay. Kart. The obvious first, choice is Mario obvious Kart. Choice, it's the only it's, game you can play with four but, people. Right, but <laughs> it's, a re, it's a re-release um, upgrade, I guess. So. All the other games are two players, though. <sighs> it's true, it's true. Not, like not to say like, that if you're only in a two-person family, that doesn't count as a family. But if you but, have four I mean, players, that's talk, more fun. But if you're talking about be- if you're talking about a family game, you tend to have more than just two people playing yeah. the game. So, yeah. Generally, for, for not just reason, the mother, not just the mother, father, that. and all the others. You generally all have like cousins and whatnot yeah, over cousins, to play and siblings, stuff. Exactly. So, you know, all sorts of things. Because, like, uh, Mario Odyssey is weird because, like, one person controls Mario and then plays the other Cappy, person controls Cappy. Which is stupid. I, I don't know how the two player works in Mario Rabbits. I never tried that. And, uh, just the other person. I think the other person just controls the other character, another character. And oh, so okay. You just so, both play two different characters, I guess. Mm, oh, that right. could actually be good. Uh, but yeah, I think Mario Kart's got this. I, I think it's Mario Kart. When you put it like that, it's yeah. Strange. Because with Splatoon, you, one to me. Splatoon, you gotta get online, or you, you can have co-op, and it's still kind of like, eh. <laughs> I don't even know why this is even a category. Right. Yeah, right. I, I think mean, N- this... Nintendo gets its own category. Because <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo has two of its own categories, the freaking handheld and, the, and family games. Like, yeah, what do you uh, mean? Here's another game. category, uh, best strategy game. Holy shit, Microsoft's here. Uh, yep. XCOM 2, War yep. of the Chosen, uh, Tooth and Tail, never heard of it. Yep. Total War Hammer 2, mm. uh, Halo Wars 2, <laughs> and Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle. You know what I'm kind of surprised is not there? I'm kind of surprised Divinity Original Sin is not in there. Huh. Yeah, that weird. was actually one of the one of the most popular uh, strategy games that came out this year. That's it's true. Not, it's not I'm here. surprised it's here instead of like this tooth game. That's with a mouse. Yeah, tooth and nail. <laughs> I don't know, I've seen it. I've seen that on Steam, but I ain't really hear no. Never heard of it. For it so. I'm assuming both the mice's names are freaking tooth and tail. Oh, how most original. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I think either Halo Wars or Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle is gonna take this. Uh, they might give it to Halo just just because they want to like throw a bone to Microsoft. Yeah, uh, the, they Halo might win for that. <laughs> um, I'm gonna throw XCOM and and Rabbits in there because they both take on the same kind of strategy. Similar, yeah. They're very similar to each other, so it'll be one of those two. XCOM, but it could be Mario Rabbits because that was actually kind of a surprise hit this year. Yeah, Mario was Rabbits was it like very, very very loved surprised. by critics and most yeah. people that played it so, so i would say cool. mario first the mario rabbits first and maybe xcom as a backup yeah. all right well, i'm so going similar. mario or halo just yeah. or whatever uh best sports oh, the micro tra- the microtransaction there. section <laughs> uh oh best multiplayer fortnite call of duty world war 2 splatoon 2 mario kart 8 destiny 2 or Player Unknown's Battleground. Uh, <laughs> I think PUBG I think Player Unknown has this yeah, in the bag. Yeah, they have this one. Yeah, PUBG's definitely like gonna win here, this one. It'll win. it'll either yeah. be PUBG or Fortnite because those two have actually been going neck and neck, kind of yeah. sorta. Because you know, well, it, you know, Epic hobby. Games stole the idea and shit. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. They made it better because you can do more. They stuff. They did make it better, so hey. Whatever. And it runs better too. Not like an unoptimized piece of shit. And then the guy wants to put his game on Xbox, and oh, the guy wants to put his game God. on cell phones like instead fix, of fixing his fix stupid game. game. I'm sorry. I'm just saying. Fix I'm your mad. game. I'm mad because this this stupid game might get game in the air and it doesn't. It, it, it ain't winning shit. I don't know, uh, <laughs> it, it'll win this award, I think. Probably best multiplayer. They'll give it to them. There's no way they're gonna give this. I mean, that's the fine. They can. Have, they have best multiplayer. You can have all yeah, of that. Just get the that. fuck out of game of the year. Uh, most anticipated game presented by McDonald's. The fuck. Okay. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, uh, just out of these, which Nintendo one do you game. are you? Well, most... there's no Nintendo game in here. Well, I mean, yeah. Is <laughs> there a game you are interested? McDonald's. He said that so. <laughs> <He was> like, <laughs> weird. 
like, uh, out of these, like I'm most excited <laughs> for Last of Us Two, but that's probably going to be 2020. So I'm going to say yeah. God of War because that's coming out the soonest. God of War is going to be fun. Oh, no, I'm kind of interested. I'm interested in Spider Man, but then it looks like a freaking uh, QTE all day. They're both oh, awesome. Oh, I just think I think, I think God of War is coming out before it. So I'm more oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I think they're gonna come out with something more with Spider Man. It's by Insomniac. I, I, it is Insomniac. So. That Spider Man game looks so. awesome. Yeah, yeah, I think they'll do better. I just hope uh, it's not a lot of QT. Best independent game, no Nintendo. Probably best Cuphead. Game, no well, oh, wait, no, Hell's Blade. It's, actually, it's either gonna be Hellblade, Hellblade or, Cuphead. or Cuphead. Yeah. And that's it for Nintendo that's stuff. Pretty much Trend, it. Trending gamer, I don't care. Nobody about. cares. Best esports game, I don't. It'll care. probably be that Doctor Disrespect guy because he's suddenly popping up in there, all my feeds out of no goddamn where. He's the only person I know out of this whole list, so let's yeah, just say he's gonna I, win. So I'll just say he wins because. <laughs> Does he seriously have a wall of money behind he, him? Yes. <laughs> My like God, he's ser- that's like hilarious. seriously like in the, <laughs> last, in the last couple of months I've seen him in like random ass feeds on Twitter and Twitch and wherever the fuck I'm like why is this guy popping up get the fuck out I don't even know you <laughs> <laughs> then I went to go watch one of his videos he's pretty hilarious he, he, all he, right well we'll say this guy wins then Doctor Disrespect uh best esports player I could not care less best esports team again could not care less Cloud best nine. debut. <laughs> Indie game presented by Chic Hydro. Oh my god. <laughs> you know who's okay, paying for this award show? Uh oh. I hope we're going to see that. Hey, that Chick, that Chick Golf Chick Stories in there? Again. Your game in there, Golf Story? Uh, okay, we got a couple Nintendo game. games in here. So, Mr. Shifty, Slime Rancher, Hollow Knight, that's coming to Switch 2, Golf Story, that's on the Switch, and Cuphead. Best debut indie game, like you gotta believe it's Cuphead. This thing is selling Cuphead, like crazy. Man. It yeah. deserves yeah. every award it's freaking being nominated for. Yeah. Nice. These go- these dudes fucking put their they house did a, up for they sales put their house the up, for this like, game. They were serious. They deserve about every award well. and all the sales they're getting. Best Chinese game. Uh Hot. Icy. Why? I like Icy. Icy. Yeah. Icy's coming to Switch. Oh yeah, Icy. Uh I think one of these other games is coming to Switch too. There was some some Chinese game coming to Switch. I can't remember what the hell's name it was. It looked like Dota. That, that um, oh, forget Arena something something. Arena. Yeah, I don't know something like that. Whatever. I'm gonna say Icy because it's the only one I played. <laughs> uh, and then we have the last one, the main one, game of the year: PUBG. Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey, PUBG, Persona Five, and Horizon. Mm. <laughs> So do you want us to say who we want to win or who we think is going to win? Uh, we can do who we want to win and then who we think will win. I don't know, man. You already know what I'm going to say. I think it might be playing on the wrong Oh, my God. I swear to God, I I'm going to break gonna, my... I feel, like, I feel like in my heart of hearts, it's going to be PUBG. I mean, wow. like, I, really I just, like I hate feeling like this. I'm just sitting up here looking at all these other great, gorgeous games, and I'm just like, uh, and then PUBG in the corner just looking stupid. And I'm just <laughs> like, ugh, this dumbass fucking unfinished game that the developer himself said he don't even want to win the fucking award is about to get this fucking I shit. Mean. Piece of sh- Are you serious? I mean. He said he don't want the fucking thing. He said he don't deserve it. He said it. He said it. So if he's saying it, y'all motherfuckers need to listen. Do not. I swear to God, don't. I mean, you speak (laughs) don't. I I I ain't worried. It's not winning. But uh, for the most part, what I would like to see win. I'm a fan girl. I can't help it. I'm a freaking shield. Zelda. I'm a fri- I'm a freaking shield. I- I'm gonna admit it. I admit it. I'm a shield for Zelda, and I want Zelda to win, irregardless of my love for Persona Five, because that shit is off the chain. And I know Super Mario is gonna be great, but I can't stand Mario. You know me. I don't give a fuck about him. The Horizon. What is it? Why? Who cares? Oh, wow. Like af- after Z- after Zelda, who cares? And PUBG, please. Why? It's not even a finished game. Yeah. Like Zelda, oh, I'm a shield. I'm a just, I'm a shield. I'm, I'm there with you. I, I that's want, me. I that's that's it. That's all. But to be, all right, honest, so to be honest, you're both as saying do, you want Zelda, right? Yeah. But I will say this: as much as I do want Zelda to win, I just don't want PUBG to win. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care who wins if it ain't PUBG. It's not PUBG. Yeah. <laughs> as long as it's not PUBG, it, 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 everybody wins. Everybody That's, deserves it, to be honest, except yeah, for PUBG. Yeah. Except PUBG. So if anybody on this on this list wins other than PUBG, I won't even be mad at all. 
Okay. Uh, for me, who I think will win is Zelda. Uh, who I want to win is Odyssey. Um, You're very optimistic, sir. It's it's not going to be player on Nose Battleground. The only reason this game is here is because it got voted in by the crowd. But the people who actually pick the winner are judges. Judges aren't going to pick this game. I hope not. Yeah, I hope that I hope they're smarter too. than that. Me too. Me too. I'm not worried. And, and, and I don't know. Maybe maybe Nintendo gave one money and said, "Hey, give me one of my games." Yeah, like Nintendo's obviously partner. No, I don't want to say they're partner with them because it's not as intense as that Super Mario Maker year where they pretty much owned the whole show. <laughs> yeah. um, we paid <laughs> for the show. They, they paid for the show for Mario Maker year, but uh, this year, like they obviously. I have a lot of uh, nominations. They're almost in every single category. I have a question. Has a Zelda game ever won Game of the Year? I don't think a Nintendo game has ever won Game of the Year. Nintendo has never won. So, okay, any neither either one of those Nintendo games would be lovely. Just to have yeah. Nintendo win a game of the year at some point. <laughs> and, and make uh, some lovely games and they just never get game of the year. I, I, w- I would love for Odyssey to win because that is my favorite game this year. And uh, actually, I'm, I'm surprised. Persona is my second favorite. This game has pushed Zelda out of second place, which yeah. is kind of crazy. I didn't think that was going to happen. So now Zelda's like pushed down to third, maybe like- even fourth, because I still like Nier Automata. I feel like that's the best. I feel like that's the best feeling in a world when you play a game that you wasn't, you weren't expecting to love so much, and then it becomes like your life. Because that's how yeah. I felt with Xenoblade Chronicles X. Like I was not expecting to like the game as much as I did. I'm, and now I'm just like that game. Like if like, I would have been excited to see Nier here instead of PUBG as yeah, well. Yeah, uh, Nier should have been there. <sighs> Nier should. This game has no business being here. Like Nier um, should have totally been in there. I'm sorry, Nier it really should have definitely been. It's in a, there. I'm gonna just say this: if nobody has played Nier, you need to pick it up. Again, like it's probably them throwing Microsoft a bone because this is the closest thing they have to an exclusive. Uh, so oh, no. then, then Sony has two here and Nintendo God. has two here. So they probably just threw I, this in to be like, here, Microsoft, here's some I, I think it's there because you can't, you when a game is that popular, you, you can't, can't ignore it. You can't ignore it. Yeah. That's true. Because that was kind of like with Overwatch last year. You yeah. couldn't ignore that. That shit was everywhere. But at least Overwatch was a. Finished, finished game, game that, for the most yeah. part. Yeah, run like shit. <laughs> Question. <laughs> Question it wasn't, it, put it like this. It wasn't in beta. It was literally not. Yeah, so. it was at least a at game. At least you can say that. <laughs> I mean, freaking A. That's all it had there. I mean, this game's uh, still in beta, but hey, whatever. We'll see. We'll uh, see. A couple days away. I think, yeah, it's on Thursday. So uh, we'll see what how many we get right and how many we got wrong. Uh, we'll either stream it on here or it might be on Real Gamers. I have no idea. I've not talked to him yet, uh, but I'm assuming. Well, I'll be streaming it on my channel. So if you want to mosey on over to my side of the struggle tracks, by all means. <laughs> oh, we'll we'll figure it out later. But uh, I think that's gonna be it. Uh, we're gonna actually we'll do questions, right? I forgot about yeah, questions. You could take a couple yeah. questions. Yeah. Uh, are there any questions in the Discord? Yeah, Let's go I check it so. out. Uh, let's see. Discord, Discord, Discord. Is this from today? Question. Or is this the last one? Oh, there's more. All right, here. Okay, question. Would anyone love to see Capcom take Mega Man in the 3D environments for the very first time? Maybe a first-person Mega Man like Metroid Prime? Or keep the franchise 2D side-scrolling environments? Oh, that's a great question. Mm, I wouldn't mind an experiment. I think... They need to make sure that they give him a proper return first before they experiment yeah. with yeah. the perspective. Yeah, the They game. need to appease the core fan base first before you start trying other stuff. Yeah. And, uh, and, I would not get, be opposed to a first-person Mega Man game. I think that'd be cool. Legends yeah. was kind of like appease your current, appease your uh your Mega Man fans, your current fans, and draw in a, a, a new crowd as well. Because like 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 we said, some people just didn't grow up with. Mega Man, so they don't know what it's about. So this is a good. What they're doing now is a good way of introducing newer, um, you know, fans <coughs> and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you want Monolith Soft to work on next? Xenoblade Three or a new IP? X Two. Freak. Dang it, Done. Coupon. X Two. Game. Yeah. Zeno- and a new, and a, and a new IP. Xenoblade Chronis- Chronicles Two is what we're looking for here. Uh, that's the game we want. X two, anyways. X two, yeah. yeah. I want X two and two and a new right. and a new IP would be nice. I don't care about three. I don't care. Uh, no, nah, so, fuck a so new IP. Big. I want X two. Like, like I want X, so I want X two first. 
Because, like, Monolith Soft is so big. Because, like, think about it. Like, we were playing Xenoblade Chronicles X in 2015, and we already right. had Xenoblade 2. So, you know, yeah. so they were already working. working. I think they're working on X2. I, I honestly think they're working on X2. But remember, there was that report saying that Monolith Soft was working on a new open world game? Probably. Uh, Probably. Either way, it's going to be good, but I prefer X2. Yeah, I need uh, X2 I before they, they do anything. I need, my, yeah. I need my skills back. That's the number one skills. thing about... Yeah, that's I want my thing. skill. Yeah, that was the number thing about X. Is my, my, my skill was, was so powerful. Shut up talking about this freaking story. Sorry, Unforgiven triggered me. <laughs> Stop talking about the freaking story. Like, I understand a lot of people like to play Japanese RPGs for we the story. We know the story was cool. a letdown. None of us but, even were on board with that story. We like the world. Y'all don't that's listen to what us. I'm saying. People don't we listen, enjoyed bro. the world. We didn't give a fuck about the damn story. <laughs> like, yeah, it had like an okay story. There's some p- moments that it had us wondering what was going on, and we still on a cliffhanger in the story. Yeah. But overall, you make your own story. And the game itself, the world it itself, epic. is. Is the story? It is fucking it's good. <laughs> oh, okay, don't 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 jump but down. We're done. Guy. Moving okay. on. <laughs> <laughs> the story was such a letdown. We know that. We don't care. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. <laughs> uh, what is your thoughts on Nintendo becoming the richest company in Japan? As it should be. Switch money, bitch. I'm as so it should about. be already, but you know. I thought they were already, but as it should be. Yeah, as it should be. What you mean? Uh, Sony isn't the richest company. Yeah. So, Sony, uh, Sony always wins, except when it comes to money. Uh, question: What great games of 2017 are you going to play in 2018? I will be playing Xenoblade 2 and Persona 5 because you know games keep piling up. Yeah, man, it's so hard, man. I'm gonna be, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, be playing I'm, a lot I'm, of. I'm trying to finish games Persona games. 5 now. I'll probably be playing Xenoblade 2 because I have it. I just haven't opened it up. I'll probably be picking up. Uh, mm-hmm. Lost Legacy and all that stuff, near and all that. Like, I'm gonna do some backpedaling, definitely. <laughs> my thing is, like, my 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 back catalog on Steam by itself is crazy. Yeah. So yeah. I will be playing a lot. Of I gotta games finish games Cuphead and everything. I got a lot of fucking I'll, games. I gotta. I'll just show you guys my backlog here for 2018. Uh, Infamous Second Son, <laughs> Mafia Three, Deus Ex: Mankind Divided. Watch Dogs 2, I'm going to play Last of Us again, uh, just beat this Uncharted, that's off the list. Uh, Near Automata, got to play through that again. Assassin's Creed Did Syndicate. Did you get all the story? Did you finish all the endings? For no, me? I finished 2, and then I got the PS4 Pro and lost all my save files, so I got to start from scratch. <laughs> and uh, Song of the Deep, and then for Switch, I got uh, I Am Setsuna, I got to play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And uh I wish I could be able to play games as fast as you do. Like that's what it <laughs> is like yeah, when when Al- when yeah, the thing I'm is, is when I noticed one thing is when Alex is playing the same game I'm playing, I can fly through it because we talk about it. But when <laughs> I'm like playing by myself or something, I just end up forgetting yeah. and just like eh. the only time I can zoom through a game is if I'm like a hundred percent all in and like the all in, in yeah. Mind. Yeah. Yep. Uh, another question. This may be a dumb question, but do you think Nintendo should have done 4K with the Switch? Uh, <laughs> You're right. That was a dumb question. Moving on. All right. <laughs> yeah. No, of course it, they shouldn't have done that. The thing no. would have cost like two thousand dollars. Yeah, we wouldn't have been able to get a Switch. <laughs> and it would and it would run games at twenty FPS like the the Xbox One X. But uh, <laughs> your, <laughs> your surprise game of twenty seventeen, the game you had little to no expectation for and ended up making sweet love to it. <laughs> no, no one can persona now. I don't know. Every game that I've played in 2017 that I thought was persona. lit is pretty much a re- is pretty much correct. I don't know. I'm usually I usually have a good eye for games I think I'm gonna like. <sighs> for me, like when I get a game I, it's like I'm gonna say this, like uh, being a shill for this game as I am, but I <laughs> knew I, I knew I would like the game Zelda, but I didn't know I was gonna be so invested in it when yeah. I got it. I, yeah. I, I, fe- I figured I was going to like stop playing at some point and move on to another game and then come back to it, and I actually went through the whole damn thing. So that was a big surprise for me, because I was like, okay, normally every Zelda, it never fails. I'll either never play it or and come back to it later, <coughs> or I'll play it, and then I'll put it down for a little while and come back to it later. Mm. And this one, I didn't put it down at all. I, I played and finished, went all the way through, so I'm, I'm, I'm very surprised. And then next on the list would be Persona for me. Because yeah. I have to pick it back up again. <laughs> okay. And right now I'm like invested really, really hardcore right now. 
take a few more here. Uh, since Nintendo already collaborated with Sega and Ubisoft, which third-party company do you want them to collaborate with in the future? EA! No, oh, my God. God. Stop. No. Oh, my God. You know what yeah. would be perfect? If Let's Nintendo and EA it. partnered up for Mario Party, and you have to open a loot box to move no! forward. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> um, oh my god, it'd be amazing. No, but on a serious <laughs> note, and not something that'll fuck my wallet. <laughs> uh, another company? Another company that I would like them to work with would probably be uh, Platinum. Go ahead and bring this uh, beautiful. Oh, I was going to say Platinum. Yeah, Sorry, me too. Stole your thunder, buddy. Well, I mean, we all were about to say the same thing, so yeah. there you go. They, they made Beautiful Joe, right? Bring us one of yep. them. Make yeah. it, bring it into the Nintendo ecosystem. I would love that. Please and thank you, because it's uh, just going to get forgotten. <laughs> I want them to rework Wonderful 101 with Nintendo characters instead. Yeah. Mm, I would like Nintendo shit. characters as, like, like you know how like they had like, little Adam side character. people? Yeah. Where some of them, like, you know, but I wouldn't want them to be, like, the main characters. The main characters, yeah. I want them to be the main ones. <laughs> yeah. I, I think they get, I think they should keep them the... You know what I really, you know what I really want? I want that fucking Star Fox I was promised. Man, look at here, man. Look at here. The one boy. I, the one I saw in Bayonetta. Oh, the, the Star Bayonetta? Fox from Bayonetta would have been perfect. Yeah. It would have been nice if I could get that. Can we get that now? Now that we're, now that we got a, you know, switch. No, no, we can we get a, that okay, now? Console. Yeah. That would be great. Yeah. That would be It'd be nice if I can get that. Be, be lovely. Uh, what else is on here? Do you guys think Nintendo of Europe did a better job localizing? I have no idea, buddy. I don't uh, even know. What characters do you guys want in Smash, and will we see a Bethesda rep? I don't know if I'm oh, ready. Look. I don't know if I'm ready to. I don't think we're. Smash, I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna get anybody in Smash for um from Bethesda unless it's Doom guy. Other than that, it might be a trophy. Magic. I don't see it being. A it character. might yeah, be a trophy, but I don't. I don't see think we'll actually get a character, character. from yeah. them though. And as far as Smash right now, they'll just bring everybody that we have from the current Smash and maybe Plus add a couple the ice extra. Climbers. <laughs> yeah, they'll bring the ice climbers bring the back. Ice climbers back. They ain't on, got no man. damn choice at this point. People are mad. Like, bring Freak. them fucking back. Like, you don't need to worry about the 3DS. It's dying after this year is up, so. I'm saying, bring them back. So, Maddie, bring yeah, back the ice climbers. Ice climbers mini game like y'all did with Captain Toad. I would love that. Yeah, um, Captain as, Toad would be a great mini game. As far as a new, what other characters could they bring to Smash that they already have? And I mean, we got Mega Man and freaking Pac Man and freaking mm -hmm. Ryu and <laughs> Bayonetta, which everyone swore what I wasn't gonna get, but Diva gets what she fucking wants. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know who else we could we could add to the to the mix. What Darkwing Duck? <laughs> No. Cool. Let's get <coughs> dangerous. dangerous. We'll see. We'll see when they bring it over. Shout I guess. Out to the youngsters in the chat who don't know what we're singing. I, I think that'll be yeah. I think that'll be next next year though. I think uh, toward the end of the year we'll hear about some Smash maybe for for uh, next. Year. Do you think the voice actor is American or Japanese? Give, I don't know about these voice actors, man. I don't know. I don't. I don't pay attention to that stuff. Uh, what are your thoughts on Xenosaga's Chaos Mos as the rarest of the rare oh, blades? Oh, Cosmos? is that what it is? Cosmos yeah, as Cosmos. the rarest of the rare blades in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I guess that's a cool little Easter egg. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, so they uh they did a little Easter egg from yeah, Xenosaga. Like Easter that's cool. From, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Cos Cosmos that's is cool. like old school. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, okay. that's cool. Important question. <laughs> yeah, important question. Is Toad's head a mushroom or is he wearing a hat? That's, That's a great question. Awesome uh, question. I, I think those are hats. I don't know, man. I always thought it was their head. It'd I think it's, it's their hat because they because when they take off the they take off. Haven't you haven't you seen it when he takes it off? He's ball headed underneath. It's a hat. When did that yeah. happen? It's in one of the fucking games. It was one of the fucking games I remember him taking no. off the fucking hat and his fucking thing, and he's bald underneath. No. <laughs> That's I gotta find my life right now. It's free. I gotta find it. I literally gotta find it. You but it was in one of the. I'm gonna look for it. You literally just wrecked my it life. Was a, it, was a, it was a long time ago. Like, I was a little <laughs> bit, I remember. There he is. Yeah, it's no. in the cartoon show. No. Oh, okay. No, yeah, I, I knew it was some. I yeah, thought I so that. This is canon because it's in the show. It's in the I, TV show. Mm -mm, I'm good. I'm so good. he has. Uh, that's a hat, buddy. There, mystery solved. That is weird. <laughs> 
That is weird. Yeah, I knew I had seen that from some. I'm like, wait, he's bald headed. He took his freaking mushroom cap off and he was bald headed on me. I'm not That's okay so with this. freaky. I'm so okay with it. It's whatever. I'm, I'm not okay with this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think the Zelda DLC will be about? We already know what it's about. It's about the uh, champions. the champions. Please be a champion. Champions ballad. Please, 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 please. That comes out in like a week. I really hey, wish they're was... gonna have a I... Japanese broadcast. We didn't actually talk. We actually didn't talk about that. They're having a Japanese broadcast for Zelda soon. Mm. Oh yeah, that's true. Either this month or next month. You know what I want as as Sorry, some DL as DLC, DLC for uh, Breath of the Wild after the after the champions. I want some side on DLC. <laughs> yes, please. Oh Prince my god. Side on. <laughs> I, I what need do they Sidon call them on the me. internet? They call them positive fish man or something. Uh, a, a, the a super positive super positive fish man, something I like that. I love him. He t he makes <laughs> you feel so good inside. Does. And did I <laughs> and did I remind you that you're amazing? I'm like, oh my god, yay! You think I'm amazing? Thank you, Prince Sidon. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps his positivity up. He's like, oh, okay, yo, thank you. I'm, you know. I want and a like, Prince Sidon amiibo. And that could like, happen. That would be nice. Can we get a Prince Sidon amiibo? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You know what I? You know what I really hate right now is that I don't have any of the champion amiibos. I couldn't find them anywhere. Oh, I got three of them. That's I left, I left Mifa on the shelf. I was like, nah, bitch. And I kept going. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to um, get Rivali. I don't know if I'm going to get Mifa. I just now. I just want freaking, um, what's her name? Herbosa. 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 If I can yeah, find I want, one, I'll get it. Yeah, Urbosa and Daruk, if, if you find them. Okay, and last question, and then we're going to get out of here, people. Uh, which yeah. Nintendo game do you think they'll reveal as a world premiere during the Game Awards? This is a good question, actually. Man, that's uh, a freaking great Zeno X! <laughs> hey, there's a list. There's a list. I Kirby in Unreal Engine 4. Or, sorry, Kirby or Yoshi or Metroid Prime 4. Which video? I don't think we're, we're saying we're Metroid at the Awards. Metroid is at least a year off. I'm just going yeah, to so say, I'm gonna say Metroid just to be the odd odd man out. So we're gonna go from title screen to gameplay in like a year. Nah, see, that's, not, that's not how it works. Unless I'm, still, I'm, I'm going off of the fact that they probably worked on this long before we even heard about they it. They do be lying. So I don't know, man. That, they, that title maybe, screen looked like they made it an MS Paint in the back before the show. Maybe, started. but they still probably could have been working on prior to. I'm true. just going off the fact I mean, that they could be lying all trash. kinds of Y'all are both right. I mean, I'm just saying, it's Nintendo. Lying, it's not like they don't time. lie. They could have been lying all through their teeth about just not <clears> working on it, and they could have been working on it. I don't know. I'm just going to say, I'm going to say Metroid. If all they've right. been working on it longer than before, if not, obviously we ain't gonna see shit. Obviously. So let me ask <laughs> y'all this: Does it re does it concern y'all about the potential fact that Bandai Namco might be the ones making a game? Because when was the last time they ever made a game that was like hmm. an exploration type? And like, when was the last time they ever? I did don't that? know. I don't I even can't remember. remember the last time they made a game like that. Mm. Well, we'll see. I'm, it's been a long know. time. I mean, Bandai, Bandai Namco's been around forever, so. Hmm. We'll see. I'm <laughs> sure like out. Nintendo won't let it be a bad game. This is not the Wii U days, guys. Yeah, true. <laughs> Where they don't yeah. care what they put out. <laughs> I know, right? Um, I, I would like to see more of Kirby or Yoshi. So either is fine with yeah. me. I have I have zero belief that we're gonna see Metroid at this show. I really want to see more Yoshi. I want to see more uh, Swole yeah. DDD. <laughs> <laughs> But it says world premiere, so I don't know. Like, oh, you know I mean, like, on release well, I mean, game. That's the stupidest thing they ever for them to say world premiere. But you yeah, know, they say that for every game. They say that for every game. Even though you've seen, seen, seen them yeah. before, world premiere. Been and seen that. That's you idiot. They did that last year too. Uh, they need to <laughs> stop that. <laughs> but anyway, um, Kirby would be cool to see. I, I want to see some. Other than that, we'll okay. see what happens. Alright, uh, I guess that's it. So Kirby and Yoshi is pretty much the picks here. Yeah. Uh, I would like to see some new unreleased Nintendo game. Uh, if it was up to me, it would be a Star Fox oh, game. Oh, Fire Emblem. Monolith Sauce game. Wait a oh, minute. Oh, you know who it's going to be, actually? It's freaking Retro. 
You think so? Oh yeah, it might be retro. Finally time. I'm not getting my hopes up for that, man. <laughs> I, my hopes up haven't been Get up, up and made an announcement. Then again, so. like you said, it's no longer the Wii U day. Wii U day, yeah. so it's okay to I be just, a little excited for Nintendo now. It's, it's just my thing is just I was never, you know, wondering it, or it I was could just be, like, oh. it could be Fire Emblem, it could be Retro's game. Straight um, up, I'm calling. Yeah. I'm calling. I'm calling it right now. It's gonna be another Donkey Kong for no damn reason. Oh, I wish. You know what? I think people would be okay with that because now we actually have like games. Yeah, yeah. and they know Metro's on the way. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, that, that's it, people. Uh, thanks for using our little question thing here, guys. Uh, make awesome. sure to use Thank this you. going forward because it makes it a lot easier than scrolling yeah. through YouTube comments. Right. Um, it's better. Thanks, guys. It's it's so much better. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this was a fun show, guys. Uh, and when we do our little outros and we'll get out of here, it's Persona time. Woo. I'll go first. So, sure. Struggle, Struggle Diva, Struggle, you know, Game Her, all that good stuff. Coupon Strives, you can find me on, um, you can find me on Facebook, you can find me on uh, Twitter, uh, at Coupon, you can find me on Twitch, at also Coupon, and you can find me here on YouTube, Coupon Strives. Uh, I stream whenever the hell I feel like it, so I don't have a schedule, sorry. I'm just, you know, I'm running around crazy. But, uh, yeah, there you go. All right, now. Yeah. What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Nia, the video game her. Thank you guys so much for coming in and participating as usual. Um, like Alex said, thank you guys so much for coming to the Discord and being a part of the Discord. And these questions are popping right now. This is what I love to see. Um, so, yeah, man, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at the video game her. Make sure that you come and subscribe to my channel if you like the type of content that Alex makes at the video game her. And then I also have a Twitch if you like to watch live streams on Twitch at Nia Loves Ninty. And yeah, you'll see us on Thursday when we live stream video games, Lord. So that's going to be awesome. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, yeah, all that good that stuff. Like that's subscribe. right. Like and subscribe, people. We need this uh, podcast to reach more people. Um, also, follow on uh, it, what is this? This is Twitter. Twitter. Follow on Twitter <laughs> at Active Sin Gaming. Uh, I will talk about games and wrestling, and uh, I just talk. He talks a lot of shit. Join that. Um, what else do we got for you? Uh, if you have Facebook, we have a Facebook group, Team Red Gaming. Uh, it is closed, but you can search this name, and then we will add you. Uh, one by one, as uh, so you have to be approved by an admin. Uh, and of course, the Discord. Uh, join Discord because that is, uh, I think that's the the, the funnest place because uh, more people are in there just talking yeah, shit all day. And it happens uh, in real time. So. Yeah, it happens in real time, and then we can actually like, uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Discord, but we can like you can join the general lounge here. We can actually talk to each other while we're playing games. We have different ones here. There's a Mario Kart lounge, Splatoon, Arms. And uh, there's Rocket League, and there's some other stuff. We can always make more as more games come out. But yeah, this this where it's at, guys. It's a lot of fun. If you like to see Nick get mad and and talk about wearing jeans at home, this is the place to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. It really is. <laughs> but we're, we're gonna get out of here. Uh, it's it's time for Persona, and it's time for whatever these guys are playing. <laughs> so, Persona. <laughs> Persona and Nia's playing some uh, some Xenoblade. So uh, we we will get out of here. Um, tune in Thursday. We'll we'll do the game awards thing. And Monday, tune in for Mario Kart. We had a bad turnout this Mario Kart uh, yeah. last Monday. It's a terrible happened? turnout. Where y'all was at? Assuming you uh, guys were Matthew, all playing Zeno Matthew Blade. Pipe, Matthew Pipes, you just got you're getting blocked. You're no longer an admin. Get out. What do you say? <laughs> no, he's like unlike unsubscribe blocked. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> all right, people. We will see you later. Bye. Bye. Persona. <laughs>